Hey friends, it is time to refresh our weekly snack tray. So these are all that were left from last week, so not a lot. And I do this once a week, usually on Sunday or Monday. So when I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday, I got another bag of the pretzels. My daughter loves these and y'all saw there was only one pack left. I like items like this that you get multiples of. So we get six little packets for $1.25. Now that is a good deal. And this week I really focused on salty versus sweet. I don't eat a lot of sweets. So usually I'll have peanuts, popcorn, that kind of thing for me. But for the overall house, I decided to try to go more for salty versus snack cakes and all that kind of thing. So I bought me the cashews and here I went ahead and got some fruit snacks. Now when the kids were little, they really loved these. They still do. And y'all, my kids, my babies, the ones that are here in the house, they are 22. My son is heading off to grad school in the fall. And then my daughter is 24, but they still enjoy, you know, this kind of thing. And with everybody heading out in all different directions, this snack tray has really been convenient for my family. Something new I'm trying this week is these chocolate covered pretzels and they're a hit because my husband came in last night and immediately grabbed one. Now I love using these little snack size bags. I get those at the Dollar Tree too. Then I'll take something like these potato chips and out of this I will make three servings out of that. So that is another way that I stretch and it helps me save on my budget. Here's another new item this week. These potato skins, a cheddar and bacon we're gonna see how these work out for everyone I only bought one bag just so I can kind of test them if it's a hit then next time maybe I'll get two bags remember I said I was going salty versus sweet this week so these pork rinds is another new item that I'm gonna try and so I only bought one bag of these but I think that I can get about three bags out of that here is another little something new that I'm gonna try this week I got me some honey roasted peanuts and to that I am just going to add some Reese's pieces and make my own little mix here now I should be able to get a lot of servings out of this I expect to get at least four maybe five now when our kids were younger I did things like this when we were going on little day trips just say we we're going to a theme park and even when we were taking a long drive and maybe going on vacation I would do something similar I would take my little snack tray on the road and it helped to save us a lot of money And here's a little bit of a confession for you. When the kids were little, I would conveniently grab snacks from our snack tray and take them with us when we went to the movies. Because the last time we went to the movies as a family, it cost us $80. That was including the movie theater snacks. So this was very helpful during that time. And here is our finished snack tray for the week. I don't expect for everything to last an entire week, but you know, it'll, it'll be pretty close. All right, friends of the twins, I hope that this will be some kind of inspiration or help to you in your home. You know, you don't certainly don't have to do it the way that I did it, but I'm just trying to inspire you. And next we are going to be looking at a room that I haven't talked a whole lot about here on the channel. Friends of the Twins, we are out here in my new flex room. That's what I'm gonna call it. Initially, I was going to have a sunroom out here, but I really want to have a home gym. And so I am going to make this more of a flexible room. I'll have my gym equipment out here as well as seating areas and that kind of thing. Now this room used to be the carport. Now this, this, my house has a detached garage and then it had this carport attached to the house. And I always felt like as soon as, you know, we moved here that this, this needed to be a space, you know, I didn't need that carport. And so, like I said, I've always wanted a home gym and 
you know, my husband and I both agreed that we would go ahead and close this room in. Now we've been here six months and we're kind of just taking our hand, uh, our time with it. One of the absolute joys of my life has been having a husband who is handy. He has done all of this work himself, including putting me up a somewhat of a coffered ceiling. I didn't go with a straight coffer ceiling we just decided to you know do a little bit of a design here so i can't wait this will be painted white and here i have new lighting coming here we had an electrician come out and add on the recess lights we have two back here and there are four across here and when we moved here like i said with this carport this room is even bigger it's probably double the size of what my sunroom used to be. Gonna really enjoy having this space out here. I will have my, like I said, my desk out here. Mainly, I wanna have my workout equipment, a home gym, and it is certainly big enough. I will have seating areas out here. I just don't know the joy in having a husband who can work with his hands. I mean, oh my gosh. I am a creative person, but I am not mechanically inclined at all. And he is mechanic mechanically inclined and may not necessarily have the vision, but he is able to execute, you know, the things that I come up with. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes he is kicking and screaming the whole way. It's not like he's just running to do all around the renovator's little projects, but he does come through for me all the time. And I'm so grateful and appreciative of that. Now I love all the windows that are here. There are a total of eight windows and then we have exit doors, one that exits to the back patio and then one that exits to the side of the house. I absolutely love that. Now at some point, if I should ever decide to make this a sunroom sunroom, then it is, you know, I have all of the windows and all of that kind of thing. I have a lot of stuff going on around here that, you know, both inside and outside that I haven't shared on the channel. Y'all, some days I feel like I'm just kind of running in circles, but I am having a ball, having the time of my life, just trying to get, you know, this is our retirement home. My husband has five years until he retires. And so that is a ways away, but that is not a long ways away. You know, five years will be here in a moment. And so I am excited about the future and I will keep y'all updated on the progress. My husband is gonna do all of the work, you know, with the exception of the things that we need a licensed electrician to do. And we will also have someone to come in and do the floors for us. But we are getting pretty close to getting there. Almost time to call, call the floor man, so. Friends of the Twins, now I have a treat for y'all. If you have never been to Old Time Pottery, you are missing out. It is a big warehouse of a store. It kind of reminds me more of like the old Garden Ridge and what is now at home. It's that kind of setup versus just say something like a home goods. So when you go in, it's this huge building and they just have all kinds of home decor accessories. Really kind of anything that you can think of from accent chairs. Here you see all of the wall decor. I mean, it is just, there were like three aisles of nothing but beautiful wall decor pieces. You could just go in here and virtually find any style any color that you like they have some of everything from wall art to mirrors it is old time pottery so they have just an abundance of pottery for you to use outside for your plants they have vases they have the faux plants and y'all, I didn't even get a chance to record the whole store because my phone went dead. So they have bedding such as comforters. They have throw pillows. Just they have curtain panels. Just almost everything that you can think of for a home. Now they don't have appliances or anything like that. I mean more like decor pieces. I... Like I said, did not record the entire store, but I tried to give you all a good variety and to share prices with you so you get an indication of that. And our prices are pretty good. 
one thing that I did notice is that back in the day, I remember old time pottery was the go to for dishes, you know, your serveware, your dishes, plates, glasses, that kind of thing. And this time I did not see a large variety of that, at least not as large as they used to carry. But that was kind of really the only thing that I noticed that was kind of different. But they have so much of everything else till it is just incredible. I'm going to stop talking now. I hope that you all will enjoy your time here with me at the Old Time Pottery. Now, as far as the locations, they do not have a lot of locations now at all. They used to have a lot more here in Georgia and they closed all of them down, I believe, except this one. As far as other states, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think they have a whole lot either. So I, in a way, I'm almost guilty or feel bad about sharing this story with you because I'm not sure how accessible it's going to be. But, you know, if you're a girl like me, a road trip is just the perfect thing. And something like this, uh, you know, you, you'll see the merchandise. You might think that it's worth a road trip. So I hope that you'll enjoy the video. We appreciate you watching. As always, friends, you make the life that you live a life that you love because life is short. And thanks so much for watching.